Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. In this video, we are going to cover another medium category problem that is asked in one of the weekly contests in Lake Code, which is merge nodes in between zeros. So the input given here is a head of a linked list and we have to again return a head of a linked list after merging the nodes. So here are the rules given for merging the nodes. The beginning and end of the linked list will have the value 0. And for every two consecutive zeros, merge all the nodes lying in between them into a single node. And whose value is the sum of all merged nodes. The modified list should not contain any zeros. So return the head of a modified linked list. So let's understand this with an example. So here is a given example. As per the problem statement, we have to return a head of a linked list without zeros and after merging. So now here there is one zero starting in the node and one zero at ending of the node. We don't have or we should not have zeros to our result. So we have to merge between zeros and zeros. So there is another zero starting from here. So we have to add the values or sum the values between these two zeros and make it to one node. So now 3 plus 1 sums up to 4 then that is going to be one node and there is a zero it should not include a zero in its result and there comes another zero at the end. In between there are three nodes which sums up to 11 and we are going to add 11 to our result and there is null so the list has been ended. So here is the result list we are going to return. So there are two different ways to solve this problem. The first one is like we did, we are going to find if there is a zero, we are going to keep adding the values till we face another zero. So let's say we are going to have a variable sum which is going to hold the sum of the values till it faces another zero. So now 4, 3 plus 1, 4, our sum is going to hold 4, then it faces a zero. So now it is going to add this sum to a node. So here is where this solution differs from the solution 2 which is nothing but we are going to have completely new linked list result or completely new memory which is going to form a new linked list with the values of the sum. So first sum is going to be 4. We are going to construct a new linked list with a new node 4. So now we found another 0 here. So in that case we are going to reset our sum to 0 so that it is going to calculate the rest of the values till it faces another 0. So it, this is going to keep iterate and uh, calculate the value to 11 which is going to be 4 plus 5 plus 2. So now it becomes 11 and then it faces another 0 which means it's time to add this 11 to a new node. Let's create a new node 11 and attach it to the existing linked list and then comes 0 so we reset the sum to 0 again. So now it is going to look for another numbers if nothing is there it is going to simply put it pointed to null and return the result. So this is the first solution which is pretty simple and straightforward where we are going to iterate the nodes and once we face 0 we are going to create a new node and append it to a result. So this is going to take big O of n time and big O of n space complexity because we are going to create a new memory to store our nodes. So there is another solution where we can solve it in big of n time and constant space without using an extra space. So let's see how we're going to solve that. So as I always say, if it is a linked list problem, then using pointers is the best way to solve that. So again here we are going to use two pointers. One is current and other one is temp, which is going to keep track of our nodes and we are going to construct a result node in the existing linked list node. So now let's start by having current node as our head and our next node is going to be temp. So we are going to construct our result linked list using the same linked list memory. So now job of our temp is to iterate and calculate the sum and go and point to the next zero. So let us have a variable sum which is going to hold the sum of values that are temp pointer iterates. So now we are going to iterate our temp until it faces a 0. So now temp iterates to add it to sum 3 and then 1 and then it goes to 0 and points at 0. So at this point we clearly know from our problem statement that our first node is going to have the value 0 and our last node is also going to have our value 0. So in that case, our result should not have a 0. So what are we going to do is once our temp faces 0, then we are going to append or 
update the value of our current node with what is the value our sum variable is having. So clearly we are going to append 4 to this node where our current pointer is. So now our variable current that is the pointer current node is going to be updated from 0 to 4. So now it updated to 4. Now we are going to give the connection to the node which is there because we have merged this nodes and added its value to a existing node. In that case we we don't need any more nodes here. We simply going to keep the connection from here to here. So now we have our temp variable which helps us to make this connection. So we are going to simply make current dot next is equal to temp. So now our temp points at 0. So now current is going to be 4. Temp is at 0. And then further we have 4, 5, 2 and 0. So yes, now our current is at 4 and temp is at 0. Our job of temp is to iterate and calculate the value. So in that case, we have done merging the first part between the first 0 and the next 0. So we have to iterate this pointers further to help us calculate or do the same with the rest of the nodes. So now our pointer C or current moves to 0 because here is where we are going to update our next value. And our temp moves to 4 so that it iterates and calculates the rest of the value. The same happens again. We are going to iterate our temp to find the sum is equal to 11. So once we found another 0, our temp found another 0, we are going to append what is the value of sum to current. So now our node current is going to become 11. So once it becomes 11, we are going to make the connection of where it goes to temp. So now our node actually, the linked list actually becomes 4, connected to 11, 11 pointer is current and then connected to 0, 0 is temp and then there goes null. So we are going to keep doing it. Once we add and make the connection between current to temp, we are going to iterate it back to the next nodes. So now 0 becomes current and the next node becomes temp and whenever we finish calculating our sum, we are going to append the current node with the sum value. So yes, all said and done, when we reach the final 0, current is going to be here and null is going to be our temp. In that case, we have to link our previous current, which is 11, to null. Because we don't need this 0 node, our result should not have a 0. So we have to establish a connection between the previous node to null. So in that case, we are going to have another pointer, let's say last check, which is going to have the previous current node every time in track so that when our current node reached the next zero and we no longer have any more zeros we make a simple connection between the previous current node to null so that we get a complete linked list of 4 11 and null so yes this is it hope you understand the logic this is going to work in constant space as we are not going to have an extra memory to store our values instead we are going to use the existing linked list to update the values so let's go to the code now so here's the code for our solution one as i said we are simply going to declare a completely new linked list so whenever we face our va value head dot value equal to 0 and sum is not equal to 0. In that case, we are going to create a new node and add it to our result and reset our sum is equal to 0. If not, if the value is not equal to 0, then we are simply going to add the values to our sum by iterating the head to the last till that we face null and finally return the new result head as our result. So, this is by using an extra memory to construct our result. So in this case, I'm going to remove this code and let's go to our solution two. So as I said, we are going to have two pointers and one more pointer to point at the previous current node. As I said, we are going to iterate it and our temp is going to iterate and calculate the sum value. So yes, until our temp value is not is equal to 0, we are going to calculate the sum and iterate the temp and calculate the 
sum and store it in the variable sum. So we are initializing sum equal to 0 inside our loop so that for every 0 it finds it is going to initialize it for the first time or reinitialize it back to 0. So now that we have calculated our temp, we have the sum in ready, we just have to make the connections. So the first step as I said is assigning the sum value to current pointer. So once we assign the value, our job is to connect current dot next to temp. So once we made the connection, it's time to move both the pointers one step ahead so that we calculate the next set of values. Yes, all said and done. Finally, we are going to return our head. So in between, one step that is missing is we have to uh, set the previous pointer to last check always. So after assigning the current dot next to temp, we are using the last check variable to, to keep track of current all the time. And finally, before returning our head, we are going to use the last check variable to set its next to null. So hope you understand this. Let's give it a try. Yes, so let's submit. Yes, our solution has been accepted and runs in 8 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.